Yo, what's good? It's your boy Zane. Welcome back to another video. This is part two of the Q&A. And um, I first want to start off by saying I appreciate every single person that has subscribed, show some love, and of course, ask some interesting questions, not the basic shit everyone always asks. But also, I did post like this little poll on YouTube here. And I said Culver's, Wendy's, or McDonald's. And you guys chose McDonald's. Even when I said the healthiest option was Culver's. So I drove by McDonald's and I was like, I, I, I didn't eat anything at all today. And I was like, I'm not eating this shit. Like there's not a lot of options that I can get. I'm not gonna get like five burgers. I'm actually really hungry. So I drove my ass to fucking Culver's. And I usually don't eat like this, but I have a craving sometimes where I just want a nice, juicy, crispy chicken sandwich. Does that make any sense? But let's see what I got. I don't know about you guys, but I love cheese sauce. Like, I got two cheese sauces. <laughs> All right, let's see. I got barbecue sauce, of course, always. Napkins. And this is the, come on, bro, look at this. Tell me this doesn't look delicious, bro, come on. Look at this, bro. No sauce. Where's the mayonnaise though? So I usually have mayonnaise and I promise. But the thing is that this comes with tomatoes and pickles, and I don't like tomatoes nor pickles. So I guess with cheese, I add bacon. There's always fucking mayonnaise inside of it. But this is not, there is cheese sauce. That's perfectly fine with me. Alright, let's see what else we got. Let me put this right here. And we also got some chicken tenders. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And this is for the barbecue sauce, right? And since we went to Culver's, I was like, we need to try the, the, um, the custard, right? Custard is like the ice cream that they have. And this is my order. I used to work there actually, like when it first opened the one here in like Nona. And I would always get the same exact thing. We called it the Zay Special, literally, that's what I got. And it's vanilla with hot fudge, hot caramel, and brownie pieces. Like, oh, I'm starving. Oh my God, I can't wait really to eat. And of course, some, fr some fries. Listen, I don't understand people make these videos. When I'm eating, I don't talk, I don't say a word. I'm either watching Shark Tank, Pawn Stars, Michael Carbonaro, Impractical Jokers. Like I'm always watching something or anime. Like I just literally have to watch something. So it's my first time me eating, talking to myself. It's the funniest thing ever. Then what should I eat first? I know you guys thought the sandwich, right? Yeah, see, we think alike. Let's get on with the questions. All right, so this is by C. Farrell 7. It says, uh, pretending just won a free round trip vacation to stay all the expenses paid for one week in any city in the world. Where would you spend those seven days and name three things you would do while you're there? Good question. Um, so like, am I supposed to just eat and just talk at the same time? So you already know how to put some fucking cheese sauce in this bitch? Oh, oh yeah, we eating good today. But, so, it's actually funny because I've always wanted to go to Dubai. I love a good scenery, bro. And I don't know, I've always been wanting to go to Dubai for a long time now. So now I'm supposed to eat, right? How do I do this? But the three things that I would do there, <laughs> I'm actually scared of heights. Like I'm actually I'm scared of heights. But I told myself, I feel like the more that I traveled, I became a lot more like, um, like stop giving a fuck. But um, I would love to go skydiving in Dubai. That's like my bucket list. The second thing I would wanna do is take a bite out of this. So good, but the second thing I would want to do, excuse me, would probably be like ATVing in the sand. I just love that. 
I feel like everywhere I go to, like I went ATVing in Thailand, ATVing in um, in Indonesia. I feel like it's such, such a cool experience. You see like a little bit of nature, a lot of nature. But um, the third thing, I'm not too familiar with Dubai to know the third thing. But I, I love adventuring. Like I want to like not get lost, but I just want to like. I'm not the kind of person to like history, but I love like aesthetic places if that makes any sense like vintage shit so like there's like a nice little museum or something like that we can go there like i'm down for that just cute take some photos you know that's my kind of vibe good question i like it so for the next question or next questions by bon bon I asked five questions i respect that um, the first one is, is there anyone you fumbled that you wish you had a second chance with? I have fumbled a couple, but I don't wish I had a second chance. I'm not gonna lie to you. Next question is, uh, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Having two to three kids, happy family, happy vibes, like traveling the world, like just being happy, living life for what it has to offer, I feel like, right? You guys want a bite? Say ah. Dude, that looks so good, bro. <laughs> the third question, the third part, I'll say. Um, would you consider going back to school? Um, honestly, no, because everything that i would want to learn would be on youtube there's courses that i could buy separately like i feel like people that go to school are doctors architect like like things you have to go to school for like business you don't have to go to school for like marketing you don't have to go to school for like there's a lot of things you can learn online not for free but like a lot cheaper than going to school feel me for the fourth part um if you were on death row what would you want your last meal to be I would want my mom's um, mango con queso frito y, y, and eggs. And I would want my grandma's Mauricio Nando homemade, bro. That shit's so gas. And the fifth one, how would people you know describe you? Um, honestly? Hmm, I'm not gonna lie to you. Very, very motivated. Either motivated or disciplined, one of those. Um, <laughs> too nice. <laughs> or, and, um, and, ah, the third one. Damn. How about the third one? You guys let me know. How will you guys describe me for the third one? Mm. Need some cheese sauce. Come on, bro. Look at this, bro. That was so good. All right, for the third question or a third person who asked the question by Viviana, uh, do you have any current projects in the making and also are you planning on developing more projects in the future? Um, I actually am creating a brand. It's a gym related brand also that runs around anime. It's going pretty good. I'm just kind of like I'm just making sure everything's perfect in a way, right? I don't want to rush into it. I don't want to just put anything out there. Like, I really want to know what I'm selling, you know? So, it might be ready. I don't know, like, four or five months, the latest. Like, I really take my time with this shit. Like, really take my time. And the second part is, what are your long-term plans, goals, or are you just seeing where things go first? Um, kind of both in a way. But I just want to be successful so i can take care of my kids when i have my kids you feel me like i just want to like take care of my family my wife my i want to take care of everything and also take care of my parents as well so like those are my end goals i guess you can say but excuse me um yeah but i'm also just kind of going to flow you feel me like things happen it is what it is wake up the next day and be, be better than yesterday type shit, right and also you said i love you and i'm so proud of you and how far you've accomplished I appreciate you. I love you more for real. 
I like, I'm not used to doing this social media shit. I'm really not. And like, it kind of catches me off guard that I have motherfuckers that actually care about me. But I love you and I appreciate you and not just you, everybody, you know, but. By Loveline. Next question is, how do you first get into modeling? Like what steps are there? What tips or advice you would give to someone wanting to start a career as a model? Um, before I answer this question, I think someone else asked a question about modeling as well. Let me just make sure here, before I answer that question about Loveline by Ralphie Lee, what or who inspired you to become a model? Right, it'll make sense to answer that one first, right? Um, basically, when I was a kid, when I was living in New York, me and my family were in New York City, and I think this is my first time I've seen the Statue of Liberty, right? I was young as fuck. And there was a Nike commercial going on. I swear to God, Nike commercial. Like, there was a whole guy running up like the stairs, whatever. And I'm like, I'm like, what is that? And then they're like, oh, it's like, it's a model, this. And I'm like, I literally love Nike. And I just fell in love with that whole like thing. And I was like, and I told my parents, that's gonna be me one day I, on everything. And then now going back to Lovely, and, um, I'm not good at eating and talking at the same time. Like, do people talk with their mouth full? Is that what we're doing now? Because this shit's getting cold. But I was given an amazing opportunity back in 2021, which I took. Oh. But, and I kind of just started going with the flow. Kind of see where things take me. And it was cool, like, I love to model, like, I love to meet new people, like, I feel like models have such a good vibe, like, everyone's just a good, not everybody's a good person, obviously, but, like, it's just a different vibe that you get from, actually, people that do social media, or, and I just love that, that, that world, I guess you can say, and I just, it's cool. Um, you also said, any tips or advice that I would give somebody wanting to start a career off of modeling? I feel like, listen, I'm a very shy person, like, very shy. Well, I used to be. Like, shot to the point where, like, I was walking in, like, in high school, like, in middle school. Like, not, I was, like, tearing up because I can't look up and look at people's faces. I order food. They fuck up my order. I won't say anything. Someone asked me a question. I won't answer. Like, I was terrified of answering questions. I was terrified of speaking to people. I don't know why. But, I feel like to become a model, it's all about being confident. Like, it's all about being confident. That's basically it. And it all becomes with practice and shit like that. I feel like me doing TikTok has boosted my confidence in a way where, like, you guys follow me since day one. I used to suck at dances. I used to fucking suck, suck at dances. But, like, now I'm, I'm not, like, the best, but I'm doing a lot better than I used to. All because I kept practicing. It's all about being consistent, right? But be confident. Don't overthink be open to learning. Everyone loves a person that's coachable. Everybody. Every first show that I go to, True Religion or ASOS, I will literally tell them, hey, listen, you let me know what you want and I'll give it to you, right? I, like, I got you, like, don't worry about it. And they love that, like, try this out, try that out, bah, bah, bah. Obviously, some agencies will like, will love for you to know what you're doing, which you kind of have an idea of what you're doing in a way, but like, everyone has a specific look. Everyone has an idea of what they want. So that's why I always ask first. Damn. Next question by Beautiful Butterfly. Oh, yeah, I know you from TikTok. Hell yeah. They said, would you date someone that is not in your circle? Meaning, since you have your spicy job modeling social media, do you feel you would be more compatible with someone that is in those same areas of interest, job, career? Or are you open to someone that might be completely opposite, like maybe in college or have a corporate career or not into social media? Really good question, actually. Um, my ex was actually into social media and the reason why I feel like it was cool is because she was doing what I was doing, feel me? But I don't give a fuck what you do. Like, like I'm, I, it's not like I'm looking for somebody that does what I do, you feel me? Like, what you do is not what makes me attracted to you. It's just, it was just more convenient because we did the same thing, if that makes any sense. But corporate, not corporate, nine to five, Eight to seven, 20, I, I, it doesn't matter. Like, that's a good question though, but like, now, nah, like, I really don't, that doesn't matter to me. I don't even care. 
Um, uh, you also asked, how far do you want to go with modeling? I want to be on billboards. I want to be on billboards. If you go to a, st uh, like a store and you see uh, people like modeling their stuff on the boards, that's what I want to do. And I will be in there this year. Hold me to it. This year I'll be in it. I promise you. I promise you. All right. <laughs> Good question though. I respect it. All right. Next question by Jalisaker, uh, three one zero seven. They said, "How do you stay motivated to go to the gym?" Everybody honest though. I don't think it's about being motivated. What I mean by that is because today I could become motivated as fuck to get shit done, right? But the next day I'm I'm lazy. The next day I'm lazy, and then three or four days later, when I feel motivated again, I'm getting shit done. It's about being disciplined. You know what's right from wrong, and you make the decisions that you make because you know it's gonna help you in the future. Like for example, this food is not gonna help me in the future, but for the video, I'm doing, I'm risking it, right? But usually, I stop drinking water. I stop drinking soda and juices. I only drink water. I try to limit, because like obviously, I have a sweet tooth. And sometimes I'm over here craving mad like desserts and shit, but I'm minimal. Like I'm trying to cut that shit off completely. Well, I'm almost there, cause my shit was at a twelve out of ten. Now it's at like around like a four out of ten. But excuse me, it's getting there. But it's all about knowing what you should be doing because it's best for you. You know what I'm saying? If that makes any sense, right? I also feel the fact that I am a model helps motivates me. Like I need to look good in a way, you know what I'm saying? But even if I wasn't a model, I would still go to the gym. Like I, I'm injured currently because I hurt my ankle like two weeks ago and I was an idiot and I haven't rest. But I've been resting for the last five days. My body is like itching to go back to the gym. Like I, it's about creating healthy habits. It might take, I think, what do they say? Like it takes two weeks or 21 days to create a good habit or something like that or to create a habit. It's gonna be a pain starting. I trust me, I know. If you want it as bad as you need to breathe, there's nothing gonna stop you. At first, it's gonna be difficult, 100%. But it's about creating a habit. It's okay if you mess up one day, but as long as you're being consistent with it, like, hey, listen, no, I'm not gonna do it. No, today I'm gonna go to the gym. No, today I'm not drinking soda. No, today I'm drinking juice. For example, if you drink soda, maybe drink uh, Coke Zero, like where they have zero everything, right? Like, do something where you're it's better for you. Start from there. I don't know if I'm making any sense. Now on the chicken tenders. The question is, chicken tenders, should I have it with barbecue sauce or cheese sauce? Both? I love that answer. I love that answer. And no, not both together, bro. Like, just both. Like, one has cheese and one has barbecue. Um, someone said, um, have you found a purpose and fulfillment in your existence? Really good question. So, I did. I definitely did. So when it comes to like my purpose, I love to motivate. I love to inspire. And I think I get it from my dad because he's a motivational speaker. At least that's the point. I love to make people happy. I love to like, I love to help. I generally love to help. And helping them, seeing them smile, a random person, like, listen, you do not understand the things that people go through. Right? You never know what they go through. So the littlest compliment can make the whole day. You see a shirt you like, yo, I fuck with that shirt. They smile, boom. And I and I do it because like, dude, like, you just never know people's story. Everyone has a story. I have a story. They have a story. They have a story. Everyone has a story. But it's just you just never know. Like your words can change someone's life. And the fact that I know that, I'll I'll be an asshole not to fucking compliment somebody. Are you kidding me? That's how I think about it. Next question. Um, damn, cheese sauce or barbecue sauce first? Barbecue? All right. I'm gonna be talking to myself. I look stupid. Mm, I'm gone.
don't know the last time I had this kind of food, bro. So good. <laughs> it's also said, have you made an impact on Earth? Um, I have, actually. As I mentioned, kindness goes a long, long way. Super long way. Um, I don't really talk about this because I don't want to be those kind of people that um, do something good and then post about it. But for this, whatever. This happened before I had social media. This happened like 2008, 2019. I used to work at Lowe's. And this lady, I used to do the Christmas trees, right? And this lady um, walked in. She was like, hey, like, I'm looking for a five, six footer. And I was like, oh. Um, and she was like, oh, what, what did it say? Is there any discounts or anything like that? And I was like, oh, if you donate blood, you get a free tree for five, six feet. And she was like, no, I actually can't because um, uh, I had a blood transfusion, this, this, and that. And I just want to have a good Christmas with my daughters. What did I do? I said, come follow me. I walked her to the, the blood bus thing, whatever it's just called. And I donated my own blood for her. And she started crying. She's like, I'm alive because people like you. This is not. Um, it was just very, very sentimental. But it guy got to me, right? Cool. They, I thought nothing of it. Thought nothing of it. And I was like, I literally said, hey, listen, I want you and your daughter to have a good Christmas. Thought nothing of it. Listen. And back then, I was, I had no filter. I was extremely disrespectful to my parents. I was very, I was like, I didn't give a fuck. And my mom texts me, Xavier, I just received a call today. I'm like, oh my God, from what? What did I do? I was like, I'm sorry. I, I was sorry. <laughs> and Louis said, I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> but what happened? It's like, no, she's like, she called me crying. She was like, is this you? I'm like, it's me, what? I was so confused. She actually posted it on Facebook and it went, it went viral. I'll, I'll post a little thing. It went viral. Like, like, it was crazy. The next day, um, the news people were coming over here, like just, just, I had to, like just ask me questions. I was like, bro, what the fuck? I was like, caught me off guard. But it was like, um, but I thought nothing of it though. Like I didn't expect anything. I didn't know what was gonna happen. I just did it to do it. I just wanted to make that person happy. I wanted to have, I wanted her to have a good Christmas with her daughters, right? So that was definitely an experience. Next question is, are you physically and mentally well? Yes, and I appreciate that. I meditate every morning. I read books every morning and that doesn't really mean that I'm mentally well physically well but that has helped me become physically and mentally well if that makes any sense but this is the thing like I choose peace a lot of you guys say you look so happy man you have no idea what the fuck I be really going through like on some real shit like my family like other shit that goes on right but again as I mentioned everyone has a story but the thing is like I just would rather choose peace I would rather just choose happiness because again, life is too short. Life is way too short to be bitching about some dumb shit. There's always someone out there that's going to do shit worse than you, oh, like for a fact. For you to just be sitting here bitching about what to eat today is crazy. Like, I, I'm sorry, there's no way. I'm not gonna sit here and complain about like, no, like I'm gonna live life for what it is, bro. Like, I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna choose happiness. I don't care. I really don't care. You wanna have? You wanna have drama? Touch grass. You want to be a dick? Stay at the sun. You want to be negative? Kick rocks. Hey, I have no time for that. No time. Sorry. But good question though. Those are just some really deep questions. Uh, next one is um by GGS. Hey, so do you have any tips for getting over the fear of public gyms? As I mentioned before, I was extremely shy. Like, I couldn't even like look at people in the face, right? But I would listen. This is my suggestion. It may be wrong. It may be, it may not make sense, but this is what I think may work for you. Obviously, you need to be uncomfortable first, right? There's no way that you can break that fear without you at least trying, right? So what I'm thinking, how can you go to the gym where you're like there but not really there, right? What if you were to go to the gym and go to the treadmill for like 30 minutes or like 15 minutes, 10 minutes? Cause the treadmills is kind of away from everything, usually on a side or like on the wall type shit. They're away from everything. You walk in, you go to the treadmill and you walk. You kind of get used to that feeling of being around people, going to the gym. I'm so, com not really confident, but I'm, I'm now I don't give a fuck. I'm over here looking at workouts and how to do certain workouts when I'm at the gym. On my phone, how to do this? What is this? What is that? But again, before I wanted to always act like I knew what I was doing. I always wanted to act like I, like I was that guy. Oh, we're human beings. 
we don't know everything. And it's not like you look so cool because you know what you're doing. Nah, bro, like, I don't know shit. I, I swear, I, till this day, I, I'm like, fuck, I forgot this workout. What is it called again? What is this shit? How you do it again? How was the correct form again? It's perfectly fine to have mistakes. We're all human beings, as I mentioned. But I would definitely start with the treadmill. Because again, it is away from everything. And then go from there. And hopefully that helps. And let me know if it does. This question is by Yurit Torres. And why and how did your last relationship end? Um, this is going to be the first and last comment that I'm going to be speaking about this. I'm never going to bring my relationship to social media. That's between me and her. And that's what it is. A lot of people have been commenting this on their, like some videos sometimes or even in my live. But if we're being honest here, I just feel like we were both like at the end of the day, we were both just forcing something that wasn't going to work. It's that simple. It was just not going to work. And we both kept forcing it for a year, literally. But it's cool. Like, I still respect her. I still love her as a person, but I will never talk to her again. And I just feel like no contact. Feel me? Like, if, you're, if that's your ex, no contact. Like, that's it. No more. At the end of the day, it is what it is. And life has to move forward. The sun doesn't stop for anybody. When I'm over here, you know, crying, whatever the case is, the sun's still moving. The day is still going. Time is still clicking. We got things to get done. This shit, like, we got things to get fucking done. I don't got time for that shit anymore, bro. For real. Next question by Supernatural Supernatural. <laughs> one by one. <laughs> Love the name, by the way. Um, I'm trying to lose weight. Diet. Got any suggestions for me? If you're trying to lose weight, cardio. Cardio it will show you wonders. And in the jawline, your shit will get snatched. Um, and also, like, when it comes to the diet, I try my right because this I'm only eating this because of like for you guys. But I again, I eat like this here and there. Like I'll say like two times a month. I'm like I want some fucking like I want some food. Like you know what I'm saying? But I'm the kind of guy where I can eat the same thing every day. I can eat chicken and rice every day i don't give a fuck it is what it is it all starts with the little things as i mentioned before with the other question like if you drink soda try to go to, try to go to juice but I don't, i'm not sure if juice is worse than soda but i know one is really i know they're both bad right so the thing is like try to go to um you can go to like ah oh, no, no no you can go to walmart or target and there's like actually like an all natural juices right you probably go to that first but it's about the small little improvements that will help you later on type shit, right? If I were to tell you, hey, look, this is a cigarette and this is gonna fucking show in your life by 20, I'm throwing numbers out there, by 20%, you're gonna take it and smoke it? Our bodies are, is our temple. We, like what, what we give it is what it puts out, right? I'm an athlete, I'm, I do modeling. Like if I eat like shit, my, my face will get disgusted. That's what I'm doing Accutane. So I'm telling like, when you take better care of yourself, you have a lot more energy. You know, there's a huge difference. A huge difference when you start eating better. It's insane. But, yeah. It's all about how bad you want it. You do all this all day. I want this. I want that for myself. I want this for myself. Like, But what is that without the actions to make it happen? Make sense? Like, I, oh, I want to be a fucking millionaire, but I play video games all day and I fucking, I don't know, I just eat shit. I'm just talking shit, basically. I'm just saying shit. If you want something, sit down with yourself. I, listen, I have a journal. I have a journal. I write every day. I write my feelings. I pray to God. I write what I need to get done today and things I need to get done for me to move to the next step, right? And that has helped me a lot. So maybe you need to get a journal and kind of write things down like, the goal for this week is to drink more water. The goal for this week is to do this, to do that, to go to the gym. It's all about like self-improvement, you know? Hopefully that makes sense. And hopefully I'm not sounding rude. I'm like saying from the heart, like I got you, for real. All right, so the next question is by user. They said, are you undecided about your sexuality? And have you ever thought about being with someone of the same sex? Um, I am bi, I'm by myself. Nah, on some real shit though, like, um, I'm straight, I love women, I am in love with women. Obviously, when we go, you know, on Twitter, or wherever you see some other shit, and I'm, I'm not attracted to it. I'm not at all. But that being said, it's like, 
I'm very comfortable with my sexuality. Like, I'm extremely comfortable. Like, I have given guys compliments before. Yeah, 100%. If you're attractive, I'm gonna be like, yo, nigga, you, you're cute as fuck, bro. Like, you look good. Like, that's crazy. I will do that. I don't care. But I will never be like, yo, let's... You know, I, like... I, does that make sense? Again, I'm just really comfortable with my sexuality. Like, you guys can tell by the things that I wear. I wear crop tops to the job. I do not care. I'll wear Speedos. That's a European thing. So I don't think that's even considered, you know. But I'll wear it. I like it. It's dope. It's cool. I think it's cool. So, those are, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I don't really have to hide about anything. I'm me. I'm literally just being me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys got some good information out of me. Um, I told you, I'll be more consistent with YouTube. Now the, the real thing is, what is the next video gonna be about? There is Mammy Swimming is gonna be at the end of this month. So I could definitely probably do some BTS about that. If you guys are interested about that, let me know down in the comments. Um, or anything else, just let me know some ideas or topics that you guys think that I should get into. But just let you know that I am getting into the gym side. Like, I feel like if I want to inspire more and motivate more, I need to do more gym content. Like, 100%. Because everyone is always asking me, was this routine? Was that routine? What do you do? Everywhere. And I'm like, fuck. And I just never done it. My dad's always told me to do it. But <clears throat> it's really hard doing it when you're just by yourself. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys sticking around the whole video. So don't forget to like, subscribe, you know, it's free, you feel me? But, and I'll see you on next video.